This is a common red shank, a familiar visitor at Singapore's Sungai Bolo Wetland Reserve. Every year, it follows the East Asian Australasian Flyway to reach the reserve to escape the northern winter. The common red shank is just one of the thousands of migratory birds that benefit from Singapore's natural habitats. Recently, the Singapore government announced that it plans to plant 1 million trees and develop more connected green spaces by 2030. With climate change, increased urbanisation and biodiversity loss, it's no wonder why Singapore is taking up this front. It's an initiative to transform Singapore into a city in nature. But what does that mean? On 11 May 1967, then Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew had a vision for Singapore. There is no hallmark of success more distinctive and more meaningful than achieving our position as the cleanest and greenest city in South Asia. By the late 1980s, Singapore was transformed and known worldwide as a garden city. Albeit, the path towards it wasn't entirely smooth sailing. Sungai Bolo was initially designed to be an intensive agro-farming area because of its nutrient-rich mangrove swamps. The 202 hectares reserve was supposed to be cleared for prawn ponds. That changed when a bird watcher named Richard Hale saw flocks of raiders flying from the Straits of Johor towards Sungai Bolo. At that time, no one had heard of any bird life in Sungai Bolo. That prompted conservationists from Nature Society Singapore to put forth a proposal to safeguard the nature reserve. The proposal was accepted, and for the first time in history, Singapore had set aside land for conservation efforts ever since its independence. Sungai Bulo Wetland Reserve has now become a haven for migratory birds, other wildlife, as well as a recreational area for visitors to enjoy. It is a sprawling example of how both nature and humans can coexist. Singapore aims to be the world's greener city, with carefully curated nature parks, green roofs and cascading vertical gardens. More green spaces and trees along roads help to strengthen ecological connectivity and preserve the health of natural ecosystems. Singapore's streets will be cooler while facilitating the movement of biodiversity. Part and parcel of combating climate change and achieving sustainable development are finding ways to protect our natural habitats and create a more resilient and livable city for families and future generations. We can all benefit when we remain connected with nature.